This is Andrew from NASCAR Acceleration Nation. I'm here with Matt Tiff, driver of the number 19 car in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. A couple months ago, NBCSN aired your documentary, Back to Track, which was your journey with your brain tumor. What is the main uh, takeaway you want people to get from that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, it was obviously really cool to have the documentary you put together. Actually, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, July 1st, will be my uh, one-year anniversary from that. So uh, to be sitting here in Daytona today is pretty cool. Uh, last year, I had to sit this race out, and I was actually having brain surgery during this race. So, uh, I mean, it's really special for me. But uh, the biggest thing is just, you know, I've gotten to uh, be a part of the advocacy uh, part of it. So there's lots of kids, families uh, that come up to me, and, and they have somebody or themselves that have a brain tumor. And, and you know, I want to be able to help those guys out. And, uh, you know, know show that there is some hope and, and give um, just give an outlet for more awareness and to be able to raise uh, more funds for research to be able to find a cure for more fa uh, families and people. You've been working with the National Brain Tumor Association a lot. You've been selling t-shirts. What do you want people to um, kind of learn and get awareness from this? I think the biggest thing is just getting people to know that it is a real uh, problem in our country. It's actually uh, just surpassed leukemia as the number one pediatric killer uh, for diseases. So um, that's uh, that's not something not a lot of people know. And uh, you know, I want to be able to um, bring awareness to those who are affected by it. There's over 720,000 people uh, a year that are living with a brain tumor. That's you know, that's a lot of people if you think about it. So um, and that's not just 720,000 people, that's their families too. So, um, you know, just want to be able to uh, bring an outlet for change, hopefully uh, find ways to cure brain tumors so more people don't have to go through that. You've made it to the NASCAR Xfinity Series, you're here, it, it, a lot of hard work. What advice would you give to someone trying to work their way up into the sport? Well, I think the biggest thing is just try to learn everything you can, just keep an open mind and, and just try to uh, get a mentor or, or get a, uh, somebody to coach you along, especially at the younger ranks. Um, but just, uh, you know, not to ever get too high or too low. Um, you just got to always keep on, try to keep on the positive side. And uh, things get tough in racing. It's a very humbling sport. So, um, you know, even if you have a bad stretch of races or, uh, or even a bad season, you just know that you can always bounce back and you got to believe in yourself too. You have a story that inspires many, but what is one thing that fans may not know about you? Let's see. I'm, uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so I'm a big Browns fan, which uh, that's a little bit rough. So, uh, but yeah, just um, I'm from up in that area, so it's it's. Uh, I've moved down to Charlotte, but my whole family is still up there, so uh, I have a lot of Cleveland ties, which is not the biggest racing area in the world. So it's kind of cool to be uh, from there. I just like uh, just like to hang out, you know, go uh, go explore, go travel if I can. You know, we travel so much in this deal, but uh, I like to to see different parts of the country or uh, actually this weekend we're going to Disney World for a couple of days with my girlfriend so uh, you know just uh, just being able to hang out and enjoy enjoy life too all right well thanks Matt Tiff for taking the time for more videos make sure to download the NASCAR Acceleration Nation mobile app